and you've been a widow for 25 years. And I got macular degeneration in my eyes. Losing my eyesight is very, very lonely. I lost my husband uh, four years ago. And at first, I felt very lonely and I didn't really want to perhaps socialise and go out. Loneliness can be progressive and can lead to depression. Often we find that the only companionship many people in older age have, especially those living alone, is the television. The confidence these lonely people once had erodes. And more and more people just stay indoors and all the while becoming more and more isolated. You can go to a concert, film or play you can be surrounded by people and yet still feel lonely through lack of companionship, friendship and interaction. Finding ways to make a difference and change this around in our communities and in our present day culture where people are living longer is a difficult challenge we're all facing. For those people in older age who have found themselves desperately lonely, isolated, depressed, this has become a serious and stark reality of our time. Reminiscing Aging Creatively Together set out in September 2014 under the Intermediate Care Fund criteria to explore how, through creative interventions, we could enlist ways of combating loneliness and isolation and promote active lifestyles and well-being reaching, engaging and involving people aged 65 and over, residing in the Valley's communities of Rhondda. My name is Maya. I live in Ferndale and I'm 83 years of age. I was attracted to this group because of its creative aspect and the fact that there was little drama involved, which I also enjoy. My name is Iris. I'm from Mardi, Mardi born and bred. I'm 81 years old. Coming into the creative workshop is getting me out to the house for a couple of hours every week, meeting friends, new friends, old friends. My name is Ira and I live in Anasir in the Rhondda Valley. Going out and meeting my friends has really, really helped me a lot because I'm, I feel like I am not lonely anymore and I got loads of friends who will help me. We were able to tell our stories of the past by sharing and recalling our memories together. Playing to each individual's creative strengths and talents were very important. We turn the pages of the mind and memories return of special times, still treasured, for which we often yearn. My name is Howes, I live in Ferndale and I'm 82 years of age. This has given me an opportunity to use my talents because as you get older, people think that you lose your ability, but you know that you don't, the ability is still there even though the body and the face pops gets a bit older. This community creative workshop group of women in their 70s, 80s and 90s have lived in Rondavach all of their lives. Together, having created a repertoire of short performance pieces, we then all set out to share our tales of the past with wider audiences in a visiting programme which aimed at rekindling friendliness, involvement and community spirit by bringing people together, both young and old, in a special moment that celebrated a shared experience. All such memories and stories told that explored the group's living histories. Because I was all dressed up and didn't have a date, I went in to my sister and a group of boys are in there and one of them took me home and that's where I married. I am Sylvia and I am 80 years of age and I live in Ferndale Court and I live on my own. As I sit here all alone, reflecting on bygone days, I look back on my childhood and yearn for yesterday. No fear of walking in the streets, no boats and locks and doors. 
I'm Margaret Casey. I live in Nardi. I'm 72 years old. I've made lots of friends and I've been to places I never thought I would go. And as for being lonely now, it's not as bad as it used to be. I've never done this sort of thing before and I really, really enjoy it. I'm Shirley. I'm aged 78 years of age and I live in a sheltered accommodation in Ferndale on my own. You know, we should know more about our, our heritage and more people to know about it, not just keep it to our age. We want the younger people to know about it. People are benefiting from it, people and children, because it is, you see, good to know about our past, because our past really is the key to our futures. Thank you to Voluntary Action, Merthyr Tidwell and Interlink for supporting through funding from the Intermediate Care Fund the aims and objectives of reminiscing ageing creatively together. And then to Valley's Kids for commissioning this work. It is proven to us all that creative interventions have a part to play by bringing people together in older age creating opportunities for involvement, building on friendships old and new, and all through the sharing of stories of our time together, and smiling the whole while. It has shown us that our stories do matter. The project has given us life, a lively and special, meaningful purpose to carry on. It has all been very worthwhile. We keep this love in a photograph these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing our Hearts are never broken and Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be 